To balance this equation, we have sodium phosphate plus nitric acid. This is a double displacement reaction. The sodium here and the hydrogen, they're going to change places. And when we have a double displacement reaction, there's a trick we can use. So let's see how that works. We have the three sodium atoms, and then we have a phosphate here and here. It stays together in the chemical reaction, so we can just count the phosphate as one thing because it shows up on both sides. We have the hydrogen, one of those. The nitrate, again, this is a NO3, is a polyatomic ion. It's nitrate. We have it here. We have it here. So we can say we have one nitrate, one NO3. On the product side, we have one sodium, one phosphate, three hydrogen atoms, and then the one nitrate. So you can see when we count these polyatomic ions as just one thing, it makes all this a lot neater. It's easier to balance. You get the same answer. It's just a lot quicker. So let's see. We have three sodiums here and here. Let's put a coefficient of three in front of the sodium nitrate. One times three. So that gives us three sodiums. Those are balanced. And then we have the nitrate, the NO3. We have one of these times three, and those are balanced. Let's balance the hydrogens next. We could put a three in front of the nitric acid. One times three. That'll give us three hydrogen atoms. Those are balanced. And then the one nitrate, the one NO3 times three, That'll give us three nitrates, and we're done. This equation is balanced. So again, you'll get the same answer either way, if you count these up individually or if you consider them as one item. But this way, with double displacement reactions, especially with polyatomic ions, makes it a lot easier. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for Na3PO4 plus HNO3, sodium phosphate plus nitric acid. Thanks for watching.